If you weren't aware, I'm fucking ugly. And unfortunately, a lot of us are, but that's okay because I am here to help. You see, not only do I actually look like this, but I also have a terrible personality, which rates me at about a two. Those two points coming from the fact that I suck real good. Did I really just say that? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to crop that one out, okay? I'm really not trying to get banned from YouTube this early. Let's get started. Step one. I need you to get yourself some pre-workout, okay? There's a lot of brands I would recommend. I'm really big in the fitness community. Um, something just to keep you going because this is a process, all right? Going from this to what we're gonna turn into is not easy, all right? Step two, we're gonna take a shower, okay? We're also gonna wash my hair. I haven't washed my hair in about nine days, so it's probably time. Um, I'm also gonna shave. I haven't shaved in maybe three weeks. So yeah, we're gonna get that done. All right, so now that we're clean and showered, I'd like to say we've already gone from a two to a three, being that we don't smell like a burnt <laughs> asshole. I got hungry, I needed a quick snack. One eternity later. All right, so now we are ready for step three, and that is to straighten. Now, some of us are blessed with uh, naturally beautiful straight hair, but I am not uh, because my mother decided to have babies with a Jewish man. As you can see, my hair just kind of goes out. Um, so, yeah. Now this shit is supposed to um, protect your hair from damage so it doesn't look like this. Um, I just started using this after uh, 22 years of damaging my hair. Now I'm deciding to care about it. <laughs> So now we're finished straightening the hair and I look cute right now. Um, it just isn't really the vibe I'm going for. I'm trying to go for like sexy. This is more like 38 year old mom Patricia who wants to speak to your manager. So that is where weave comes into play, okay? Um, I usually have some sort of permanent hair situation going on, whether it's tape-ins, uh, sew-in weave, lace front, uh, micro bead, whatever the case. Uh, I don't have any in right now. Um, but these are hard to wear when I'm wrestling because they get pulled out and my hair falls out and matches and it's embarrassing. Um, but money's tight right now, so this is a little no. Step four is done. Now that the weave is popping, I like to leave it kind of messy like this so I look a little bit more natural, even though I'm a fake. Um, but yeah, now we are ready for the most important part, and that is fixing this face, okay? And that is not easy. 
Just a quick disclaimer, I am absolutely terrible at makeup, okay? I am not James Charles, I am not Jeffrey Fucking Star. So please take everything I say with a grain of salt because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. All right, so, put my hair back just so we don't get makeup in it. Um, first I'm doing is taking some liquid foundation. I got this from Walmart. Beauty Guru, okay? See, I need a lot of foundation because it's my face is like a hundred different colors so I just really get that up on in there right I also have scars on my face so you gonna really get it up on in there okay they usually do like two layers um especially over the scars uh, don't do that matches kids or you'll end up like me Alright, so now that our face is all covered and it's all hopefully the same color, I think, um, I'm going to get some highlighter. I don't do the whole contour thing because I just can't do it on my own. It looks terrible. So I just do some highlight. I just put it right here. A little bit under the eye. Just like that. Up here. And down there. Alright. Now for lips. Um, I usually do like um, a nude lip liner with um, the same uh, lip liner on the inside as the lipstick. That's just what I like. Uh, today I want something different though, so I'm going to do uh, a red lip. Drastic, but I'm feeling it. And this is a uh, liquid lipstick. These are great uh, for wrestling because they will not come off. No matter what. It's hard to get that perfect, but I think that's the best we're gonna get. Alright, now it's time for the eyes. I'm really bad at eyeshadow, so uh, if I'm able to, I usually have someone else do that for me at shows and stuff, but um, sometimes I'm left to do it on my own. So I'm gonna use this Too Faced uh, palette. I only bought this because I thought it was edible because they said it, uh, it smells good, so I thought you could eat it. You can't, um, but I guess the colors are kind of pretty, so I've been using them anyways. So this um, is like a base coat and color. I'm gonna put that on there first. You know, it's funny, I watch a lot of um, makeup videos because I enjoy watching them. It's like therapeutic, but I've learned nothing from them. I've been watching them for years. I haven't picked up anything. So, let's see. So, I usually, I'll do like pink colors sometimes. I don't want to do pink because I have red lipstick on. I feel like that might be a bit too much. So, I'm going to get some more uh, neutral colors. My friend Penelope does my makeup a lot, and she tells me not to use the shimmer colors because apparently those don't look good so I'm trying to not do that um I think I, I want to use this one though so I'm just gonna dab a little of that in the corner it's definitely not how you're supposed to do it but um that's what we're gonna do so this look is so you can look good from like 10 feet away not up close because once you get up close it's a little bit frightening okay so I just dab it on like that and then I'm use my hand then I'm gonna just blend it okay until it doesn't look frightening. Okay. I don't hate it. All right, now we're gonna just do a little bit of eyebrow. This is an Urban Decay um, little brow thing. And I just kinda wing it. I just kinda go for it. My eyebrows are not waxed right now. They haven't been waxed in like a month. I just get frustrated every time I go to get them waxed because the ladies are so mean to me. Like, I'm just trying to get my eyebrows waxed and they're like, do you want your mustache waxed too? And I'm like, bitch, mind your business, first of all. Okay, so. <laughs> this looks so bad, but I'm cool with it. All right, so this is the top eyeliner. I'm actually pretty good at this. If there's like one thing I'm good at, it's this. 
kissing here. Sometimes I like it thicker than others. I can't do this with my mouth shut. Don't know why. Perfect. That's not perfect. It's perfect for my standards, okay? So, the hard part. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. The hard part is making them even. It's like they're never gonna be even. Are those even? Oh my god, the closer I get, the scarier it is. I need to stay away. Whew. I should have had one of my friends that's good at makeup to do my makeup in this video, and I would be like, just do my makeup, guys. Like, oh. Whatever. Whatever, I'm fine with it. All right, so um, I really care about the environment to so like to recycle, so I um, am going to reuse a pair of eyelashes. Um, oh, do I have glue? Yes, I do have glue. All right, eyelashes are very important to the full look, okay? So, smack some glue up on there. I'll use the same pair of eyelashes, like, three times. Because I don't like to let things go to waste. On to the next one. My voice just sounded really good in this bathroom. Maybe it should be a singing channel. I used to have a really pretty singing voice um, a couple years ago. It's gone now. I'm working on it though. All right, let's put this one on. I was trying to be cute. That was not cute. That was scary. Perfect. Alright, now the last thing we're gonna do is bottom eyeliner. I, this eyeliner, like, I am in love with this. I don't care if I'm rich one day. I'm still gonna buy this fucking $5 eyeliner because I love it, okay? It's called Define a Line by Maybelline. I've been using this since I was, like, eight years old. Like, I just love, it's super messy, like, it, like, drip down your face, but it just looks really good. I'm gonna put that under the eye. See what I mean by it's messy? Like, it's just very, like, wet. But it looks so good. I never found an eyeliner that... As drastic as that one. Woo! All right. Ooh, makeup's everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands because I use my hand as a wipe. So. We're almost done. Oh, I almost closed you guys out. Sorry. Um, I'm in like a camcorder yet, so you guys are like in the sink right now. All right. All right, now that hair and makeup is done, we are on to the last step. It's my favorite step, and that is picking an outfit. So I've learned that when picking an outfit, black is a very slimming color. It tends to be my favorite. Um, I have a lot of different colored stuff, but black seems to be the best color for me. Um, also, you wanna get a bra that's like super big, okay? Even if you already have big boobs, you wanna get a huge bra, because they make them look huge. I already have breast implants, but I still get like massive bras, because I just wanna be like humongous, you know? Like bigger the better. Go big or go home, okay? Um, that's step one. And you also wanna get pants that are like three sizes too small for you, so your ass is just like pow, okay? Right, so this is the outfit that I chose. Um, it's a little button-down shirt. I feel like it says like, hey, I work in an office, but I'm also a stripper. Um, these pants, I got, I literally got these pants from like Marshalls or something, but I feel like, like the booty looks cute. Can't really show the full outfit. Alright, so this is the completed look and I hope you guys like the video and peace, love, and Jesus. I thought I was done, but I'm not done. Oh my god, now that I've been sliding, I'm totally realizing that my face is a different color than the rest of my body and my neck, so uh, seriously, do not listen to my makeup advice, because I clearly fucked up. Uh, anyways, just wanted to say, ladies, if you're watching this, if you're going to get all dolled up all the time and put all this work on yourself, don't do it for men, because men suck. Men fucking suck. And they're going to leave you, they're not going to stay with you, they're not going to be with you for forever, okay? Do this shit for you, because... You're a boss ass bitch, okay? And even if you're fake, you're still real, okay? I'm the realest bitch ever. I just got fake titties and some Jupiter in my lips and shit. And my hair's not real, but that's it, okay? Peace, love, and Jesus. And don't forget to subscribe, or I will find you and I will eat you.
I can't say that. YouTube, I'm joking. It's a joke. Can you take a joke on like Twitter? 